Uh, then we have hanging pans, and then we have a toaster and a blender. I'll give you this one, the double fridge. I like this one better. Yes, I love it. Hey guys, I'm Isa, and today we are going to be reviewing Modern Furniture 2 by Everbloom Games. And don't forget to like and subscribe to hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. So first off, sorry if it sounds like I'm sick, that's because I am. That's why we didn't post last week. So Modern Furniture is back. So we are going to be getting more furniture, and I think it's going to look even cooler. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Boop. Okay guys, we are in. And... How do I start? Oh. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Kidding, I've been expecting you. My name's Randolph, but everyone here just calls me Brando. We just built our little town, but, well, we kind of forgot to put in the furniture. We're a bit hopeless, so most buildings are barely decorated. But with your decorating skills, you can make these houses a bit more appealing and livable. Anyways, we use different tools here that you might not be used to, so let's go over those. For starters, I've given you some materials that you can use to craft something. Use the crafting table and find the bookcase in the recipe book to make it. Don't forget to show it to me by holding it. Great! Now put it down somewhere, wherever you like. Bookshelf. And like that, you've got a bookcase. You can use dies on the furniture to give it some personality. And now it's dyed. For even more spice, a lot of this furniture can also be made with other materials, like iron or spruce wood. Now this here is your move tool. Face a piece of furniture, see? It follows wherever you look. Oh, yes, it's one when of these it's ones. in a place you like, use it again to release the furniture. It'll stay where it This is my favorite, the customized tool. You can use it to... Well, try it out yourself. Hold the tool and use it on a piece of furniture. Aha! Oh. See? Every item that can change into a different version will cycle through a few options. Hit it again, and it'll change into something else. So pick what you like. I like that one. This is the rotate tool. It lets you arrange, and this is your destroy tool. It doesn't really destroy the furniture. It's just a really quick way to... And like that, you have it in your hands once more. And with that, I think you've got a pretty good handle on things. I have faith that you'll be able to figure out the rest on your own. Oh, and be careful. Some places are still under construction. Although you might be able to find some materials in those places. Help people out with their homes or go on your own adventure. Enjoy. We. Okay, so. So this house is not finished. So what do I do to help people? Um. Yeah. I am the water bringer, the giver of life. I am your god. Mwahaha. Uh -huh. No. That is not something you say to someone who just walked into your house. Yes, I can have some lying in beds. Oh, sorry, fishies. Um. Okay, what about down here? Oh, that was actually really cool. I like this, but I think I'm gonna go with that one. Oh. I'm gonna go with that one because obviously it's meant for that. Okay, I have a bunch of materials. Not quite sure what to do. This is kind of interesting on the fact that this isn't like your normal sandbox where you get a creative mode or something or and then you create them, but no, this time you actually have to craft them. Oh. You saw nothing. I did not break up I did not break something placed by police, most likely. More die. Alright. What can I do with this die? What is this anyway? Is this like an abandoned subway or something? Feels abandoned to me.
Yeah, I'm gonna call it and say that this is abandoned. Okay, even more supplies. Let's go. Oh. Lots of dyes, even more stuff. And it seems quite. Oh. Whoopsies. And it seems quite easy to get this stuff as well. It's not like a grueling experience just to get, like, your dye. And there we go. Let's head back up and see where we are now. I almost feel like I'm in the same place, but I know I'm not because of the houses. Okay, let's go in this one. What do you say? This place has grown a lot. And all we need is a bunch of small children running around and wrecking everything. Oh. <laughs> I was told that this was a good place to start a family. You know, since there aren't any zombies scratching at your door each night or anything. I hope not. I don't want to have to deal with it. So let's destroy everything that's already in the house. Get some free stuff. And before we get in creative mode, because I'm not doing this forever, I am gonna try and craft some of them. Oh my god, hearing my voice like this is like... You've got taste, wanna help me decorate? I know my house is just a place I sleep in at night. Not really a home yet. What are you doing with your hands? <laughs> do -do -do -do. And yes, I could try, but no guarantees. Alright. Let's try this. So, first off, crafty table. Oh my god. Okay. Yes, I could craft a toaster. Okay. We go with the hat. Are there any more counters or something or? Right here. There. Hey, I love that. I like it when they make everything like interactable. I just find it cool. Let's try making more stuff before I decide to go in creative mode. Oh, garden gnome. Uh. There we go, it's no longer floating. And then what else can we make? Uh, I can make a mug. Oh, it's so small. How do I make the mug? Oh, I just need a lot of diorite. And then we have a toaster and a blender. And what is the, what does the second wooden sink look like? Oh, okay. I like this one better. All right. And you know, phase right through them. That is something that I'm always looking for, honestly, in these maps. Because a lot of times I come across entities where I just phase right through them. Well, let's give this a shot now in creative mode. So I decided to go look for a house that I liked more, which was definitely this one. I personally like decorating the kitchen the most, so I wanted a house that had a big kitchen. And this was literally the biggest one I could find, so here we go. There's nothing wrong with it. Why can't I use it? I bet you there was something that went wrong in development that where they couldn't use it. Microwave. Dude, if you give me a microwave, I'm so gonna use it. Okay, what else do we have? 
So I grabbed a bunch of stuff to use. So we're gonna use these the best I can. So we have stone kitchen workplaces. That's nice. Oh my god, the game is quite jittery, honestly. Dang it, now I can't use them. How am I gonna find it in the mess of this? Oh wait, oh dang it, I need to find stone. Let's look for stone. And let's see. Those are the ones I cannot use. Okay, we do have some. So we're gonna put that there. I'm gonna put that there. And then just like put this in here. And there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, fridge right here. There we go. And then we're gonna have our stuff on counters what is this that's very nice oh it's huge useless there but okay <laughs> uh then we have the hanging pans what about a stove we did a stove what about an oven what about a dishwasher do we not have an oven I guess we don't. Okay, then we have all the rest of this stuff. We have knife block. Then a cutting board, which I'm gonna put right next to it. very jittery and I kind of find it funny the way it keeps glitching out like that. I am gonna actually change that. And then we have a microwave which I'm gonna put underneath the pots. This is the do not use one. Microwave. I wonder what happens if I use this one. I can't. I wonder what those were. Okay. What if I put it on top of the fridge? No, that's weird. No, our microwave is not on top of the fridge. Yes, I love it. And then we have mugs. I'm just gonna have mug, two mugs. Can I place them on like the same counter? Ah, it's in the fridge. No, that's not what I want. 
Ah! Back. There we go. Dang it. No! No! My lord. Go here or something. We're gonna Paris instead. Oh! I'll give you this one the double fridge. I can't customize anything else here. Except for this. And then why not put a flower pot like in the corner? Yeah! We do not talk about where that thing is, where the other one just went. Stop doing it, oh my god. Oh, it's right over there, but, okay. Uh, where, oh come on. Okay, yeah, this is quite jittery. Um. Stay. Oh my god. And now that one's gone. I give up on this. No, I give up. One more try. Stay. There. Ah, finally. Oh, and then we have a toaster. I forgot about this one. Shoot, I want this somewhere. Okay, I guess we're getting rid of that mug. I can't even see what I want to get rid of. Stop being a magic toaster and get where I want you to go. Come on. There! And then I think I want hanging lights. Lizardship lights. Let's see what we get. Light. What about hanging? Where the hell did that come from? What is going on here? There. No, I don't want, I want it to go through the roof a little bit. Because I wish for there to be moving room. Let's see if it pokes through in the room. No, it does not, so we can look good. Okay, we're good. 
and use my kitchen. Not half bad. No. So honestly, I quite like this map. You can interact with stuff. You can throw stuff in there. I'm gonna throw a bunch of coffee mugs and stuff into the fridge because I can. There we go. Something that would be kind of cool is if like the fridge is empty until you put like an item in there. So maybe like if one row's full, it'll have some food. If another and then if two rows are rows are full, then it'll have more. And if three rows are full, then it'll fill up. That might be hard, but it'd be it'd be pretty cool if it did that. And then we have like we can interact with a bunch of stuff. We don't phase through stuff. Quote unquote. No, we don't they basically don't phase through stuff. That we're not supposed to phase through. But it is a bit jittery. I mean, I had a lot of trouble with these things. And now this one suddenly disappeared. It's probably the one I broke a while ago. Get in the corner. My god, I can't get that in there now. <laughs> well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any new posts. And don't forget to take a look at my other channel, Isis World. So I will see you guys next time. Bye! Let's just hope next time I'm not sounding like a literal monster or something.